Previously after a one month hiatus on Big Brother Plush. Drama ensued in this challenging head of household competition between Miles, Orin Joshi, and Yago. Also, uh, Yago and Orin Joshi restored their final two after Yoshi convinced Orin Joshi to apologize to Yago. After Yoshi told Orin Joshi that he was dumb and he got something wrong. After Miles ended up nominating Yoshi and Orin Joshi anyway. Tonight, who will win the golden power of Ito and will it be used to save either Yoshi or Orange Yoshi from eviction? Oldest and more, right now on Big Brother Plush. The wait is over. You have won the fire. Miles put me on the block. I had a talk with Yago. Yago just didn't get to Miles on time, I guess. This is not good. Uh. Yeah, mm. it's kind of sad that things are already almost over. I know. Uh, as long as we can get to the final three together, I think everything should be alright. We can all be friends after this. Uh, you agree? Yeah, totally. Um, hey, Yago, uh, could I speak to you in private for a second? Um, sure. So, what do you need? Well, I, w I mean, I was nominated, and I don't know what to do. We just recreated our final two, so I figure you're the best person to go talk to. Yeah? I don't know what to do. I really want to stay here. Um, I mean, I think your best bet is to win the veto. <sighs> you're right. Would would you save me if you won? Of course. So, I just told Orange Yoshi I'd save him if I won the veto, but what he doesn't know is that I also have a final two with Yoshi, who I've been much more loyal to throughout the game. But the issue is, no matter what I do with the veto, if I win it, I'm going to piss someone off no matter what. So, hopefully I just don't win the veto. Hey, Yoshi. Hey. I just want to make sure things are still good between us, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, I don't- well, why wouldn't they be? I don't know, it's just- I mean, I'm open to you about everything, so- After everything that happened between me and Orange Yoshi in the competition, Orange Yoshi came to me and apologized, which I really respect him for, um, but now he wants me to save him if I win the veto, but- I'd obviously probably want to save you more, but then that would make him mad and I'd lose his trust. I just don't know what to do. I mean, that's fine if you don't save me. I I mean, I have your vote, I'd hope. I think I could stay with that. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure you'd be okay with that in the scenario that I won. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Well, I mean, that was funny. Things just kind of came full circle, I guess, because I'm the one that told Orange Yoshi to go apologize to Yago. Then Yago comes to me saying, Oh, I mean, I know I'm open to you, so I'll just tell you this anyway, and it was the exact thing I told Orange Yoshi to tell Yago. I just thought that was kind of funny. House guests, welcome to your next veto. This competition is simple. You will each take turns bouncing this foam die on this tennis racket as many times as possible before uh, it falls. Whoever has the highest score at the end will win the golden power of veto. Mario, you're up first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, Mario got nine. Next up, Yoshi. One, two, three, four, five. Yoshi got four. Yoshi got four. The sound was off from the fifth was him hitting my dream temp that I need to take down. Anyway, up next is Yago. One. 
You really threw that, didn't you? Next up, we have Miles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Miles. Last and potentially least, if you can somehow score lower than Yoshi did, Orange Yoshi. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does that count? Eight, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, I'm going to say Orange Yoshi got five for that one because even though it hit this and managed to roll off, I picked it up afterwards and just continued going. That's basically like saying if you had like a slanted floor and you dropped it and then it started rolling down the slanted floor, just picking it up with the racket off the floor and being like, oh, it didn't touch the ground, it's just rolling. I mean, it touched the ground in that scenario, but you get what I'm saying. So that means... Congratulations, Mario! You have won the Golden Power of Veto! Guess who won the Golden Power of Veto? Mario! In all seriousness, though, I am happy. I don't know what I want to do with this yet, but I am happy. Hey, Mario. Hey. So, do you have any idea of what you're going to do with the veto? No clue. I actually don't even know if I wanted this veto one at all. <laughs> Same here. I really don't know what I do, uh, but yeah, congrats, uh, yeah. See you later. See ya. This is the veto ceremony. As the winner of the Golden Power of Veto, I have the option to save either Yoshi or Orange Yoshi from eviction. Before I make my decision, I would like to give you uh, both a chance to tell me why I should save you. Yoshi, here at first. Well, I think you should save me, because I have been loyal to everyone here. Uh, and I see no reason why I should go home this week, because I would take anyone who's- Oh, I see a problem in that plan now. I don't care, I will be loyal to you if you take me off. Great, thanks, bye. Uh, thank you, Yoshi, Orange Yoshi. You know what? I think you should save me, because- I don't know, I'm- I'm sorry, Yago. Again. Uh, I know you forgave me. I- I don't have a speech. I- I'm sorry, Yago, for what I said at the head of household, even though you already forgave me. I'm sorry, Mario, for anything I did to you. Please forgive me for everything I've ever done to you in this house. Uh, and save me. Thanks. Alright, with those questionable speeches, I have come to the conclusion that I will not use the golden power of veto. This veto meeting is adjourned. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother plush house? Yoshi or Orange Yoshi? All this and more tomorrow at 8, 7 central on Big Brother Plush.